Looking for a good laugh and a way to spend a few hours? Well, Netflix has you covered. We all have a little bit more time to binge watch these days, and if you're looking to laugh, you've come to the right place. Netflix seems to be flooded with comedies, but it's not always clear which ones are actually funny and which ones will straight up ruin your evening. We've scoured the vast expanse of the digital service and have come back with our picks for the best comedies Netflix has to offer. Welcome back to Patrol Clip, guys, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Netflix comedy movies. For this list today, we'll be looking at the best original comedic films that this streaming network has to offer. We'll be excluding romantic comedies like Always Be My Maybe and To All The Boys I've Loved Before because they have a list of their own, basically. Before we begin, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all things Patrol Clip. Also, let us know in the comments if any of these movies that we are about to mention have made you laugh the hardest. Now, let's get started. Here we go! This is how we do it! Da, 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 da. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? <laughs> ah! Run, run! Oh, God! Run! Run! Sherlock Holmes aside, the pairing of Will Ferrell and John C. Riley is usually a recipe for comedy gold. And that's certainly the case with Step Brothers, which reunites the duo with writer-director Adam McKay. Ferrell and Riley play a pair of overly sheltered man-children who find themselves becoming roommates and brothers when their parents decide to get hitched. We're not sure that formula would have worked with any other two co-stars, but Farrell and Riley somehow managed to keep us invested in the plight of these two developmentally arrested weirdos. It's so great to see you! <laughs> you smell so good. What is that? Tim has a blind date with Missy. Missy is extremely strange. Her odd behavior turns out to be disastrous for Tim, and her wild antics result in Tim sneaking out of his date. Three months later, Tim meets a beautiful woman, also named Missy, at the airport. They connect and have so much in common and turn out to be perfect for each other. Tim begins texting Missy and eventually invites her on his work retreat to Hawaii. However, on the plane, the wrong Missy shows up. Tim realizes he's been texting the wrong Missy the entire time. Whoopsie! So now he's stuck with this crazy Missy on his work trip in Hawaii. Missy often becomes reckless and intoxicated, and her behavior results in humiliation for Tim. Despite all that, she actually starts to help Tim do well at his company's work retreat and also wins the approval of Tim's boss. That's some bonus points. Tim reveals that inviting this Missy was a mistake. He meant to invite the other one, who does eventually show up, of course. Come along for this wild ride in this Netflix romantic comedy filled with twists, turns, and plenty of laughs. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. Uh, Here's a movie with another guy named Tim. But this one is a rising executive. He works for a boss who hosts a monthly event which where the winner, who happens to be the biggest buffoon, will get a career boost. So basically you invite idiots to dinner and make fun of them. Sounds nice, right? Tim's fiance, Julie, finds it distasteful and Tim agrees to skip the dinner until he bumps into Barry, an IRS employee who devotes his spare time to building elaborate taxidermy mouse dioramas. Fascinating stuff. Tim quickly realizes that he has struck gold. He then agrees to the dinner thinking Barry is a surefire winner in the events leading up to it. Barry always has good intentions in mind, but no common sense, and it's those two qualities that send Tim's life into a downward spiral, threatening his major business deal and possibly ruining Tim's engagement to his fiance. Find out who the real schmuck is in this ridiculous comedy. What brings you up to first class? The seat that I procured. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I was in a low class, and uh, my seatbelt didn't work, and they bumped me up to first class. It's called economy. Lucky day. Nice to see you. Peter Hyman, played by Robert Downey Jr., will be a dad for the first time when his wife gives birth in five days. He intends to catch a flight home from Atlanta so he can be there for the delivery, but a chance encounter with aspiring actor Ethan Tremblay, played by the always hilarious Zach Galifianakis, 
throws a monkey wrench into his plans, and he ends up on a no-fly list. No longer allowed to board his flight home, he's desperate to reach his wife before their baby is born. Peter's sanity is now tested when he's forced to take a cross-country road trip with a dog-toting Ethan. Will Peter make it home in time to see the birth of his child? Find out in due date. Say, my name is Edward Garrett, and I am an idiot. Jake Johnson plays a gambling addict in this Netflix original comedy, which also sees him work outside Wrigley Field as a parking attendant. Just as he's trying to get his act together, he's entrusted with an acquaintance's duffel bag and finds that it's filled with cash. Oh boy. He, of course, ends up gambling it away and then is forced to deal with the fallout of his mistakes. This is an underrated movie in Netflix's catalog that didn't seem to get a lot of buzz, but it's one that holds up and remains enjoyable several years after its release. You guys enjoying this video so far? We hope so. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to leave your email so that you can receive a free PDF on how to become a successful social media influencer. Number 5. Tallulah Starring Ellen Page as a young woman who hasn't found her place in life, Tallulah tells a story that is both dark and hopeful. This isn't a film that's laugh-out-loud funny, but rather quietly comedic, balancing drama in many scenes. Paige plays the titular character who runs into trouble after she spontaneously takes a baby away from a neglectful mother. Finding herself on the run with the police on her tail, she does a whole lot of growing up in a short period of time by realizing she's got to take care of someone else. I'm an old soul. I like old music and old movies and old, even old people. Bottom line is I have nothing in common with the people out there and they have nothing in common with me. Nadine? Max? Maybe nobody likes you. Well, anyway, coming-of-age teen comedies really are a dime a dozen, but the best ones always manage to rise above the fray. The Edge of Seventeen is easily one of the best examples of the genre in recent memory. It manages to both harken back to classic 80s comedies like The Breakfast Club while also being heartbreakingly authentic, and its examination of a teen girl dealing with serious issues, played by the always excellent Haley Steinfeld. Be sure to check out this hidden gem if you haven't already. God, this coffee smells like shit. It is shit, Austin. Oh, good, then it's not just me. It's a bit nutty. While not Netflix originals, Netflix is home to all three Austin Powers movies which includes the 1997 release Austin Powers International Man of Mystery, the 1999 release Austin Powers The Spy Who Shagged Me, and 2002's Austin Powers in Goldmember. All three films managed to spoof our favorite James Bond tropes, while also working as pretty entertaining spy slash time travel movies in their own right. These three movies feature Mike Myers doing his comedic best, stealing the show as both heroes and villains. Now just remember to not be a frickin' idiot and check out these movies. F-R-I-C-K-I-N-I-D-I-O-T Number 2. The Fundamentals of Caring While many of the movies in our list are straight comedies, this one combines comedic notes with dramatic ones, offering up a poignant story that tugs at the heartstrings while remaining lighthearted. The Fundamentals of Caring is a road trip buddy comedy featuring an unconventional pairing. Trevor is a teen with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and Ben is the caregiver charged with looking after him and who is going through a struggle of his own. Released in 2016, when Netflix was coming out with much less original content, this is definitely worth going back to and watching. And last but certainly not least, our number one pick. Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. After a few months of being stuck at home, this quirky comedy was exactly what the world needed in the summer of 2020. Starring Will Ferrell and Rachel McAdams as a pair of Icelandic singers participating in the Eurovision Song Contest, the absurd concept translates into a hilariously weird movie. 
Though Farrell is known for his comedic work, it's a real treat to see McAdams in such a silly role. With appearances by stars like Pierce Brosnan, Dan Stevens, and Demi Lovato, Eurovision has enough star power to take us straight to the plot and keep offering us laugh-out-loud moments all along the way. And those are the top 10 Netflix comedy movies that we decided to pick out. Do you think that we missed any? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all things Patrol Clip. And until next time.